Just smack them. I don't want to hurt them. I just want to smack them. Cause Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I'm just so mentally and emotionally done with this week. Like, I, I can't. Like, I'm smiling, but I'm irritated on the inside. So, latest carpet drama, carpet drama, apartment drama, because I did not catch up with y'all yesterday. I was being stank. I don't want to talk to y'all. No, it wasn't personal. I just didn't record in the morning, and then Brandy and I have been watching Breaking Bad, and, like, you can't talk and vlog while you're watching Breaking Bad. Even though I've seen it already, um, it's a really good show, and watching it twice actually gives you more perspective. But I mean, I watched it like a year, over a year ago when I watched it. Like I binge watched it on Netflix. But now that it's not the weekend, we can only watch like two episodes a night. I think we watched three. Anywho. So, did I tell y'all the other day, like I came home, fr was it Friday? Yeah, like Friday. I told you guys this about my carpet. It was soaking wet. I call them and this chick and this guy we won't name names, Melissa and Marcus, came over and they were like, oh yeah, that's so weird. Your carpet is wet, but it's drying. And I was like, cool observation, bros. So they're like, we're gonna send blankety blank over Jose on Monday. I'm like, what ifs? So, I call Monday, and I speak to blah, 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 Alton, and he's all like, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. So, then I'm like, can I talk to the property owner, blah, 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 Lisa, and he's like, no, she's not available right now. So, because I'm annoying, and also because, like, your carpet in your closet shouldn't be wet. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know. Maybe other people are okay with that. So, I call back. I'm like, I'm going to call them every hour. I'm going to bother the crap out of them. And he's like, she's not available. So, I'm like, what the hell is this chick's problem? So, I email her. And then I get, I'm on vacation. Okay. Everyone's entitled to their PTO and their vacation. But just say she's not in today. Don't let me believe she's there and that she's not calling me back. She's not calling me back. She's not there. Dumas. So I finally like pitch like a little fit and they're like, oh, we're sending blah, 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 Jose over there. And I called like two hours later. I was like, did blah, 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 Jose see, you know, see a problem. And blah, 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 Alton was like, he said that your carpet is dry. And I'm like, holy mother of observations. Like, we know this at this point. Tell me something new. So I'm ready to like literally like burn the place down and just like go up in the office and smack every single person that works in there. Just smack them. I don't want to hurt them. I just want to smack them because they all just need to be smacked upside the head. So then I'm just like pissed out and I'm like, whatever. So I called back yesterday and I speak to Shmicha, who is very nice and I'm going to send her boss a note because it's nice when people are like, oh my God, you're so nice. You've helped me so much. As my mom always says, tell my boss. So I'm going to write her a note saying that one person that works for this place has a brain. So I, she's like, two, three, one, Kendall, what happened? Because she knows about the pipe. I was like, okay, this is what happened. So I tell her what happened with the carpet and she was like, uh-uh. I'm put you on a long hold and we're gonna find blah 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 Jose and I'm gonna send him over there. We're gonna find out what's going on because this is ridiculous. This has been over a month. I'm like, thank you, honey. Thank you. But then I talked to blah 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 Jose and he explains that he did not just go over there and report back that the carpet was dry. He went over there, he pulled the carpet back. He could tell that it was wet, but he couldn't find the leak. He went up in the ceiling and the attic and crawled around and looked for more wet insulation and pin hair leaks and tried to find out the problem was and he put a moisture meter in there and that he wanted to leave in there for 24 hours before he read it and could continue to figure out what's wrong. See, if they would have told me that yesterday, not yesterday, they would have told me that freaking Monday, right after it happened, I wouldn't have been so freaking upset. 
I swear, like, I have, like, really low blood pressure. And when I went to the doctor on Monday, he was like, are you stressed out? And I was like, let me tell you. <sighs> so, I don't know what's going to happen at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, the ceiling caved in and it died and killed me. And I died because my apartment sucks. Or if, like, mold starts growing through the walls and it kills me. I just don't care. And I hope if it does kill me, I hope that my parents do the crap out of them for like a hundred million dollars and enjoy the rest of their lives and pay off the mortgage on their house and give some to Brandy and take care of Bentley for the rest of his life because I'm just so done with them. And I hate being negative, but I'm just over it. I think that at this point, because stuff is still leaking and the beams were wet, and they did a crappy job of repairing everything that they need to move me into another unit which unfortunately they don't want to do because whenever somebody moves out they renovate the unit and upgrade it so they want me they're like you can move and we won't charge you a transfer fee but it's like five hundred dollars more a month no y'all like, okay, y'all didn't mess up my ish, but y'all can't fix ish correctly, so that's not my problem if you're going to have to lose out on some money for a couple months. I shouldn't have to pay any more rent than I'm currently paying now. And the thing is, I like my complex. I like the area. I feel somewhat safe there, and I just don't want to pick up and move to another place because it's also kind of expensive to move because I'd have to get movers and pack and do all that stuff. And I'm not doing anything else that has to do with the situation that's going to cost me money. I've donated enough to the Kendall Piper's Closet Fund. That put me back enough money-wise. So, I don't... I just... I don't know, guys. Does anyone, like, know anything about, like, rights? Do I even have rights? Does anyone care? I need, like, an advocate. I was going to have my dad call because my dad is scary. Well, I mean, not to me, but he can be scary. But today's going to be the best day ever because it's Wednesday, and that means it's going to be Thursday and Friday, and then we only, and then it's almost Christmas, Then we're going to just pack our ish, get on the airplane, and go home. Like, literally, go home to my mama's house. I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, makeup of the day. Judy Time Palette. Yeah, Judy Time Palette by B&H Cosmetics. Vape of the day. I got my pink eye stick back finally. With an Aspire Nautilus mini tank. With a decorative thingy on it. And inside is a juice called Alien Piss. Which I don't really like anymore, but it's tolerable. So I'm just trying to finish the bottle because I only have like that much left. And I'm trying to finish everything I have before I start buying a lot of new stuff. I'm trying to get rid of everything I kind of like. And that's all. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye! Hello, man. It is so hard to be a vlogger while you're binge-watching Breaking Bad with your bestie. I've seen it before. Don't mind me walking around to try to like... Ow! What killed my foot? Nice. Yeah, because there's nothing to vlog about because we're just staring at the TV until we fall asleep and realize that we're old and that we have... Oh, why does this have... Like, oh, yeah. I guess it's fine. That we have, like, responsibilities and stuff. So now I'm just trying to catch up. But I wanted to say goodnight. Bentley wants me to brush his teeth. He said, please brush him. I'm way too OCD. That's just sad. Everything has to go in order, and then you can fit more in if you flip them other ways. I'm a hoarder. Done. I even take the lid off, so that way it's already open. Cause I'm just not the most intelligent person in the morning, or even at night when I'm tired. So Bentley stuff is ready. You would think, cause I'm so crazy, that I would probably like put it in the bowl before he goes to bed. But I'm not on that level of crazy yet. And then we put our blender over here. 
And we pick a cup and we always use a Hello Kitty cup. Yeah, I'm singing random useless songs. I'm tired. Got everything ready for my protein shake in the morning. The bananas and ice live in the freezer, so I don't have to get that ready. And I left my cup at Brandy's house. And it had crystalline and it was so good. And I'm filling this up. I can't vlog. I'm too tired. Bobbies, can you tell all your friends good night? Because I am done. Um, bye, guys. I'm tired, too. Um, I went to TT Brandy's and I played with Molly. And then we went outside to go potty. And we met a really cool dog named Dash. He is a cotton tear. Something cotton. I'm going to just go. Bye. I was going to come back. I just wanted to bring a toy. Yeah, we played with Dash outside. Now I'm tired. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Yeah, my face is wet. I was running around too much and it makes me it makes me tear. Okay guys, bye. Bye!